Okay, what I'm about to show you is a very interesting sort of hack in DaVinci Resolve, and I think a lot of you will find this very useful. So today we're going to talk about using OBS Studio to hack DaVinci Resolve and actually get full scholar relatively either for cheap or for free. As we know, DaVinci Resolve, if I'm going to do a new node, has false color. So if I'm going to turn false color on, we can see on all my three monitors that now we have false color applied. Now, the problem with all this, that if I'm going to close this, like if I'm going to try to grade something, I have this as a node. There's no other way bypassing it. So basically, I always going to have to on and off this thing which for me who work in a fast-paced environment is absolutely deal breaker so i'm going to delete this thing now the solution that i'm going to show you and we can see this monitor over here so i'm going to switch to my dedicated asus monitor so this is my professional reference monitor you can see it over here on the left side and with this thing i see a pure signal however I'd like to also sometimes see false color. So what I came up with is a very cool sort of structure that we can use OBS Studio to feed that signal. So if you pay attention to actual scopes in an image right now on my right monitor, I'm gonna go to the false color right now. And we're actually seeing my false color LUT that I created being applied to this image. And we can see that the cool thing about it, actual scopes are not being affected by it because it's not part of DaVinci Resolve. So if I'm actually going to manipulate image, we see that the full scholar actually takes effect, but the scopes are not being affected by the crazy green effect like we would if we would be using DaVinci Resolve full scholar. So let me come back and demonstrate. So if we're going to do again DaVinci Resolve and I'm going to show you my scopes we can see how crazy they look okay that's complete nonsense so let me show you so that's absolutely no go so I'm going to delete this thing and we can see that they're being affected by this anyways so in order to make this happen I want to show you how I set it up so we're going to need to have OBS Studio. And for those of you who don't know what OBS Studio is, it is a software that a lot of gamers use for streaming. I've been using OBS since the beginning of my channel to record uh, tutorials. It's a fantastic free software. So right now we see a black screen. I actually using the other instance, but I don't want to use it like that because you guys are going to go crazy with a infinite screen so i opened another instance i think that way it's going to be a little bit easier so we can see right now that we don't have anything and this is where multiple monitor setup comes to play so for example now i'm going to click add and what i'm going to do i'm going to add display capture now there's a couple ways of doing this i'm going to show you absolutely the cheap way and the cheap way is to use the ventures of without actual decklink card and simply go to workspace video clean feed and i'm using my very expensive asus professional pro art series monitor this is where my dedicated image going to now if you want to spend a little bit money on it which would make sense for this tutorial then you can actually use a decklink card with a capture card and do a different routing but again we're doing the least amount of money so all of you can afford this so now we're gonna go to the source and we're gonna select display capture so it's asking which screen we're gonna capture I'm gonna click OK and now we have a list of different screens that I have set up so this is my screen right now I'm recording and I'm going to select my Asus UHD. Now the reason why this thing is showing the windows is because I have to click on DaVinci Resolve actually for it to start displaying. That's a downside when you work like that with a clean feet without deckling card. 
Anyways, okay, so now we have this display selected. Okay, I'm gonna lock it. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna right click on it and go to the filters. And in the filters, I'm gonna click plus and I'm gonna select apply LUT. Now, in my case, I'm gonna be using my origami false color LUT that I created to do a false color. Now, if you can create your own or you know any other LUT, go ahead, feel free to use it. I'll put link on a screen for you to my origami LUT. If you wanna use that one, everything is good as well. So here's the false color LUT. Okay, I'm gonna double click on it. And now that we see it's being applied. So I'm gonna close this. And now filter is being applied to the actual um, image. So now I can close this instance. And basically now what you're seeing on the screen, now using OBS, I placed OBS on my other monitor. I can easy go between, let me click here. I can go between different scenes that I set up in OBS that help me to color grade and basically see how I want to see the image. So let's check how it works. Okay, so here's our screen. Now let's say I want to do false color and now I have a complete control. I have my main GUI, I have my monitor on the left side that's showing me clean feed and <clears throat> on the other side I have false color that work pretty flawlessly and I can really see what's really going on and do a better shot matching. Anyway, so that's a little hack. I hope that makes sense. Uh, leave the comments below if you want and I'm probably going to be seeing you in a couple weeks. Have a good one and I'll see you soon.